Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In today's video, we'll be looking into the different groups under the elemental method of estimation. And this is as per NRM 1, New Rules of Measurement 1. So there are 11 groups under this method of estimation. And this is mainly used during the initial stage of the project, that is during the concept design stage of the project when you don't have any drawings or the project is in the initial stages. Discussions are ongoing during that stage. Mostly there will be some report prepared by the consultant. The areas will be there of different buildings involved in that particular project. So using this area, the cross floor area or the built up area, using that a cost plan is prepared using this 11 groups. So in most cases, the measurement will be the area and for the numbering items that countable items usually lump sum is used as a unit of measurement or item is used as unit of measurement and the basic idea behind this method of estimation is to create a budget to check whether the budget is enough to carry out this project so as the stages moves on as you get more design more drawings are prepared as the design is built up by the design consultants the cost plans get updated it is always good to capture all the items that is involved in that project so that is the main idea of preparing a cost plan using this elemental method so based on where the project is located the cost consultants will be having some historical rates for example they will have a square meter rate of cabling in that particular area if the project is in middle east or if it is in saudi for example based on the different projects that they have worked on they will be having a rate it might be some 500 saudi real per square meter for cabling then the different other elements the plumbing works so these items you will not be able to get the measurement during the initial stage of the project because drawings are not there but you have the area of that particular building. You know, for example, the piping works, plumbing works will be mainly in the toilet area. So you will need to get the area of that toilet. Then the different cabling will be involved in that entire building. So the entire building area needs to be captured, needs to be measured. And from that, you will be getting a particular amount from the historical rates. And slowly, a cost plan is built up in this initial state and it is given to the client and the client is advised that this is the project is going to be somewhere around this much as per the initial concept design but again there might not be different other items that would have been developed in this initial stage so a lot of allowances needs to be considered a lot of extra amounts needs to be considered for different elements that is under development which will be developed in the coming stages. Let's move into this PPT. Uh, I won't be explaining much in this PPT because it's just, you can read through it. You'll get an idea of the different elements and what are the, I mean, you will get an idea of the different groups and there are some subgroups under each group also. So in this method of estimation, almost every item is captured under these 11 groups. So without further delay, let's move into the different slides. So sit back and enjoy it.
So hope this video was informative. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to Quantity Serving Studio. Keep learning. Take care. Bye.